Hello YouTube, Civilian Snowman here and today I'm going to review A Bittersweet Life. Plot follows a hotel manager slash enforcer called Sun Woon, played by Byung Hun Lee, who works for a mob boss called Mr. Kang. Um, this Mr. Kang suspects that his mistress may be cheating on him and asks Sun Woon to uh, spy on her while he's away and if he sees that she's cheating on him to kill her. So that's basically what Sun Woon does and then decides to show her mercy and lets her live at the wrath of Mr. Kang and ends up bringing two rival gangs down on himself. So that's that's a very basic outline of the plot to this film. There are many things I liked about this movie. The main thing is uh, Byung Hun Lee's acting as Sun Woon. I thought he was absolutely fantastic in this film. He played his part as uh, the hotel manager slash enforcer. Uh, really kind of cold and collectively, you know, he had this kind of sheen of cool to him the whole time. But there was also a very human vulnerability underneath this kind of thick skin that he had in the film. And it, it's when this human side of himself shines through that he really does mesmerise. He's so good in the role as well. And when uh, the scene in which he... Uh, is going to kill uh, Mr. Kang's mistress and decides not to. It's not as cliched as it, it could have quite easily been. It's very kind of human and realistic and very touching in a way. Even though it is a, a violent scene, it, it's kind of oddly touching. So I think that his acting is probably the strongest point of the film. To be honest, everybody's acting in this movie is top notch. I cannot think of anybody who um, lets, lets the film down at all. Everybody's really kind of pitch perfect in this film. A Bittersweet Life is directed by Kim Ji Woon, I think, and um, his direction, he, re he really manages to bring the best out of his actors. As I said, everybody in the film is brilliant, but he also can construct an action scene like a conventional gunfight in a way that we haven't really seen before. The way he uses the camera... Um, and where he places it and what he decides to show us and from what angle and everything it's really kind of has a style all of its own but not only does he manage to create his own aesthetic and style in this film he manages to channel so, like bits of the styles of other filmmakers and to be honest the two that I was most reminded of watching this movie are Martin Scorsese and Sergio Leone. Now Sergio Leone um, was brought to mind because a lot of the music used in A Bit of Sweet Life was very much in the style of Ennio Morricone who did all the Leone Western scores. Now, I don't know whether or not they actually used some of his music, but it was very, very similar. Um, it, it could have quite possibly been his from the 60s, but I, I don't know whether that's accurate. But um, as, as not only that, but there's scenes like um, standoffs and shootouts and stuff that really just kind of harken back to Leone's style of filmmaking, which has kind of been modernised by filmmakers such as Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez. And, and the director of A Bit of Sweet Life is clearly from that school of thought as well and his film is almost um, a big homage to the old westerns. I was reminded of Martin Scorsese because of the uh, the camera angles and the editing as well. Uh, it really, the way it was edited reminded me of how Thelma Schumacher edits Scorsese movies um, and that coupled with the fact that it's shot very much like um, Scorsese shoots uh, more of his modern stuff. It reminded me um, of The Departed and I think they came out around the same time but um, I was very much reminded of The Departed and that kind of style, kind of quick cut um, fluid camera work and it really works well for A Bit of Sweet Life and um, that coupled with the fact that uh, the director has managed to interweave his own style and aesthetic within this kind of um, homage towards Scorsese is, is it's really inventive and it works really well. A standout scene in this movie which just is absolutely fantastic, it's the kind of scene I like to see in an action movie because when I'm watching an action movie now I've become quite um, cynical when it comes to action films. I like to see stuff that um, I haven't seen before and there were a, a couple of moments in this movie. The standout scene however has to be when um, the uh, the main character Sun Woon is sat opposite an arms dealer and the arms dealer has just realised that Sun Woon isn't who he thinks he is 
and um, basically they race to put together, because the, the guns are dismantled in front of them, they race to put the guns together and shoot each other. And I just thought the idea of that moment of realisation and then them scrambling and, you know, assembling the guns, I thought that was fantastic. It really kind of brought a smile to my face, that. Um, very kind of stylish and witty, that moment. And um, this applies to some of the other action scenes. Um, there are shots during kind of a... A, a fist fight between Sun Woon and some henchmen where the camera is attached to his shoulder looking over his shoulder while he's beating him up and it's very stylish this shot is one of my favourite um, ever it's been used in films like 28 Weeks Later and Requiem for a Dream and all that stuff and it's just used so well in this movie in a kung fu fight I just thought it was fantastic so those are for me two of the standout moments of The Bit of Sweet Life one of the only flaws I think this movie has is towards the end it becomes a bit ridiculous. There is a huge gunfight, but what makes it ridiculous for me is just what Sun Moon manages to survive. He, um, he he survives a machine gun blast to the chest and a gunshot to the head and all this. And it just it became ridiculous. And if it had kind of kept itself grounded in reality in this final confrontation, this last grand action scene, it would have been that little bit better for me because the uh, the ridiculousness of it kind of took me out of the film, which had managed to keep me um, involved all the way through and then at the end kind of drew me out and it, it was a, a little bit disappointing that, but that's kind of the only bad thing I can think of for this movie. So if I have to give it a rating, um, I'll give A Bit of Sweet Life four stars. It could have quite easily been five, okay? The direction is brilliant. It's kind of uh, fresh and new and kinetic, where uh, while at the same time um, harkening back to masters of filmmaking like Leone and Scorsese and stuff, the acting in it is fantastic, the music's fantastic, all that stuff is great, the cinematography and everything. The only thing is um, some of uh, the violence towards the end became too ridiculous and uh, kind of took me out of the movie. That's why it doesn't get five stars, it gets four, but I highly recommend this to any fans of action films um, or gangster films, anything like this. It's one of the best I've seen in a long, long time, quite possibly the best I've seen since I watched the, uh, Scorsese's version of The Departed for the first time, and I thoroughly recommend it, so that's a bit of sweet life. So thanks to everybody who comments, rates and subscribes, you're all absolutely brilliant. This is Civilian Snowman signing out, I'll see you later, bye.